guys, uh, welcome back to the channel. It's been a while since uh, we did a video. Um, life kind of gets uh, super busy sometimes. So uh, we are uh, headed back to the boat um, to check things out. It's been kind of cold here lately. We've gotten a couple rounds of snow and we're just going up to uh, check on things to make sure everything's uh, still good to go. So uh, we are on our way to Deltaville now. And uh, uh, Sam and I are going to uh, check things out and uh, hopefully everything will be just as it was when we left it last time. So um, if you guys subscribe to the channel, thanks for hanging around. Uh, we hope uh, to kind of get back to things this summer. We got a, a lot of fun things planned this summer. Um, we, uh, If you follow us on Instagram, you see that uh, we got a dinghy and so we're excited about that and uh, can't wait to add that to to the boat so that uh, as we go out this summer um, uh, we'll have a, a way off and a way to go explore. And, you know, one thing that we noticed over the last year is that we've done a lot of work uh, doing planning, um, planning to do things and then uh, we just didn't do anything and so this year kind of as a New Year's resolution is uh, we've uh, you know decided that we're gonna stop planning so much and uh, do a little bit more doing. So. Uh, like I said, uh, if you subscribe to the channel, thanks. And uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. Uh, we have a, a lot of videos that goes over some things that we've done to the boat, which I think you might find interesting. And uh, hopefully got a lot of content coming uh, for 2022. So hope everybody's uh, happy and healthy and we'll uh, pick you back up at the boat. All right, well, uh, back inside made it everything um, is just kind of as we left it so uh, no issues anywhere uh, we had a little bit of water in the lazarette uh, but that's the gasket between the uh, uh, where the generator is that door isn't in the best shape and so if we get heavy rain which we have gotten some heavy rain uh, we'll get a little bit of water uh, down in there so not enough to make the float switch go off uh, so that's all good so we pumped that out and uh, um, what I want to talk to you about today is uh, we got a new first aid kit for uh, the boat so I'm a big proponent of having uh, a good first aid kit and first aid supplies around I've been a paramedic for uh, over 20 years now and I uh, found a company that um, sells uh, first aid kits uh, for vehicles for boats um, mymedic.com uh, is the uh, uh, the vendor itself it's not sponsored they just sell a good product and um, it's HSA approved so uh, for all of those who have a health savings account um, you can use those dollars to, to buy these for your uh, for your boat or for your car so uh, we'll go into it this one comes in a nice uh, uh, hard case that you can kind of uh, store around and uh, it costs about 150 bucks but it comes with all kind of uh, good stuff inside so we'll break that apart for you so you can see it all right so comes in uh, with a couple clips and you just push this down on both sides and lift up and so that positively locks um, and you have an o-ring seal uh, so in this kit uh, you have basically all the things that you would need uh, to deal with a, a medical emergency. There's wound closure stuff. Um, there's some stair strips in case you get cut. There's a pair of uh, scissors. There's a splint in case you uh, break an arm or something like that. Uh, you have uh, your basic first aid stuff, uh, first aid bandages, finger splints, rolls of tape, gauze, um, cold packs, uh, space blankets, so in case someone gets hypothermia, you can put those on. Those are the Mylar blankets, burn shield, uh, band-aids, and then uh, hand sanitizer as well as iodine, and then antiseptic towelettes. You have um, some rolling gauze, a tourniquet, just in case something really bad happens. Um, more gauze, a pair of gloves, some quick clot if you get into a situation where you have a, a deep wound that you cannot stop with um, 
direct pressure, you can use this along with a pressure dressing to kind of help that out. Um, and then stuff for an upset stomach. There's ibuprofen, there's aspirin. Anyway, so this is kind of the kit. It comes in this nice box. These, uh, what they call mods, um, you can purchase them independently. They're all sealed. Uh, so if you happen to use one up, all you got to do is go on their website and uh, order a new one and stick it right back in the in the case. So to me, I think it's great. Um, like I said, it's it's got an O-ring gasket. It's got a pressure seal on it. It's orange. So you know where it is. It comes in a nice durable case. And I dare say it might float too um, uh, if you were to put it in, in water. So... Again, this is the my medic case. This is going to be our uh, primary first aid kit for uh, for the boat when we're out and about. So, um, if you haven't checked them out yet, uh, I encourage you to. I'll leave a link in the description below uh, to their website and to the actual marine kit that we bought. And uh, please check them out. <clears throat> All right. So, hope you got something out of the video. Um, if nothing else, uh, put yourself a first aid kit together. Um, you can buy one like this from my medic or from any of the other vendors that are out there. Um, it's something that's, to me, I like it because it has everything in there that I need. And uh, it comes in a nice case. So you don't have to worry about a bag or anything else getting uh, crushed. And it's bright orange, so you always know where it's at. And uh, it's really easy to describe to someone who's uh, on the boat for the first time or maybe just helping you out. You can say the big orange case that says my medic on it. They know that's where the first aid kit is. Um, so... Uh, like I said, check them out online. Uh, I got no affiliation with them at all. It's just a, a good product. So um, hope you all had a happy new year and uh, we'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching.